Hello guys and welcome to Technology. My name is Salman Irshad and today we are going to be doing a walk around video of the all new Mercedes-Benz C220 CDI. So before we get started, I would like to thank Engines Auto Arena Hyderabad for letting us make a video on this car. If you are into purchasing pre-owned cars in Hyderabad, you can come over here and check out the large variety of premium pre-owned cars that they have on offer. They have a variety of cars from a variety of premium brands like Audi, BMW and Mercedes-Benz. So do come over here and check it out if you require any premium cars. Okay guys, so let's get started with the design of the car. So as usual, we always start from the front of the car. So first of all, you know, you have the three pointed star, the traditional Mercedes logo on the front and you have a nice big chrome uh, grill with the uh, chrome surfaces on the sides. On the top of the hood, you have the Mercedes emblem. Coming to the left, you have uh, the LED, full LED headlamps with uh, jewel eyed uh, projector headlamps and you have a daytime running lamps and uh, turn indicators which are complete LEDs as you can see in the video. The fog lamps are integrated inside the headlamps. Therefore, you do not have any fog lamps under the headlamp. Coming down, you do have a nice uh, big air damp which allows uh, good intake of air and it has a nice chrome finishing on it. Coming to the center of the car, just under the Mercedes logo, you have again another air dam, which is, of, uh, which is again big and allows uh, good airflow to come inside the car, under which you have a nice chrome strip running around the car that gives a nice character lines to the car. And it helps the car and it helps the car get a nice clean and classy design. Okay guys, now moving to the side of the car, you can see again the nice bold character lines that are running all through the side of the car to the back. Um, now starting from the front, you have the, you have 17 inch alloy wheels. Uh, the, the specifications of the tire on this are, uh, these tires are Brid Bridgestone Turanzas and they have a tire size of 225 by 50 R17. Now coming over to the side again, moving on further. The side you have electrically foldable uh, and retractable uh, side view mirrors with complete LED uh, indicators. On the bottom over here you do have a nice chrome strip running all through the side of the car that gives the car a nice classy and luxurious feel. Uh, the windows are wrapped around brushed aluminium. Uh, this is not chrome, you can't call this chrome, this is uh, brushed aluminium and this gives the car again a very classy and nice luxurious look to the car. Again, the, the, uh, the design follows in the same specification on the rear tire and you do have a, uh, some bit of chrome around the rear of the car as well. Now all, those, now, all those character lines come and converge at the end of the car where they end at the rear of the car. So now we're going to make a look at the, at the back side of the car where firstly you have these beautiful full LED headlamps. Uh, they have full LED integration at the end as you can see complete LED integration now followed by you have uh, this nice character lines and mold uh, mold uh, moldings over here at the rear and uh, you have the CDI logo at the back and you have a nice chrome uh, chrome finishing on the back the Mercedes logo and the C220 uh, badge over there to identify that this is the C220 from Mercedes you have a space for the number plate over here at the center and moving further down you have a Fox AMG style uh, exhaust over here. This is not actually an exhaust. This looks like an exhaust but the exhaust is actually under the car and uh, you know but still it gives nice uh, the car a nice AMG style look at the back. Okay so continuing on I want to show you the boot over here and the boot space. Now there is a button over here that you press to release the boot. Please unlock the car. After unlocking the car, the boot will open and you can see it's a really wide boot. This is about 480 liters in here. You do get uh, Engines Auto Arena will also offer you a spare tire over here at the back when you buy this car. So in case you are, whenever you buy this car, you will get a spare tire which is not actually available uh, from the showroom. Uh, you do have a jack, uh, it does come with a jack and uh, tire repair kit as well. You do have two latches over here to fold down the rear seats. The, uh, rear, the rear seats are 60-40 split and they uh, fold completely down. And one more thing I'd like to show you is there's a nice uh, LED integrated uh, brake light over here. 
on the rear view mirror on the rear window and that's about it you do have uh, you do have a nice um hazard over here in case something happens you know you can just open the boot and it is a reflector in case uh, of an emergency you do have a light over here which helps uh, during the night to uh, spot anything inside the boot and you do have uh, lights inside the boot as well uh, to make it illuminated during the night okay guys so let us just talk about the engine of this car of course without the engine the car is useless so we're going to be talking about the engine now uh, now under the hood i'll just open the hood so you can get a good look hydraulic opening and under the hood is a 2.1 liter uh, inline four cylinder uh, diesel motor made by mercedes themselves and uh, the power figures on these are it has uh, 178 uh, bhp and uh, it is 400 newton meters of torque which is quite powerful for an engine of this size okay guys now coming to the interior of this car you can see that uh, you have this uh, starting off on the steering you have this nice alcantara uh, leather all around the steering wheel as well as on the seats uh, which i'll show you later in the video uh, for now we'll take a look at the steering wheel you have a nice uh, brushed aluminum finish over here just like we have seen outside you have brushed aluminum all around these buttons as well over here on both sides of the car i mean of the steering wheel and on the right side you have controls for your telephony you know uh, phone answering and uh, dropping the calls and all that stuff uh, on the left hand side you have controls to control the mfd which i'll just show you in a moment and you have other controls uh, you have the nice mercedes benz logo on the steering wheel over here which looks nice and classy the steering wheel in in my view the steering wheel is really really beautiful i love the way it's designed i love the way it looks now coming to the center console over here in the dash uh you do have on the left hand side you can see you do have the speedometer uh, which gives you obviously your speed and in the center you have the multi multi function display which i think is about you know um 4 inches in 4 uh, to 5 inches uh in um, size and on the right hand side you do have uh, your uh, rev counter which obviously tells you the revolutions per minute of the engine so just i want to show you that you know the uh, i want to show you the functionality of the mfd it just works like this you know you can use these buttons to control and access the mfd the up down buttons it gives you a variety of information you can control the ambient lighting and you know you can check your um, average fuel economy you can check your time to empty um range to empty and all that stuff you know you have the trip and you know general stuff and a lot of other features which i will make another video on and i'll show you that in in a lot of detail you do have paddle shifters over here i'm not sure if you can see that from there but there are two paddle shifters do have this uh, uh lever for controlling the uh, uh the gear uh it's uh, you go up for parking and uh, you know down for reverse and then you press this button to bring it in back in neutral uh on the left hand side you do have controls for the wiper and uh, you know uh the controls for the wiper is on the left hand side of controls over here the cruise control um these are controls for the cruise control and uh, that's about it from here on uh, you do have ac coming to the center of the car you do have ac vents three ac vents over here um which obviously are having the same uh, brushed aluminum finish all around the car which gives this interior a very luxurious feel honestly this is one of the this is one of my favorite interiors on any car even on a luxurious car this is one of my favorite interiors now moving down you do have uh, controls for the dual climate control uh, ac controls all over here nice uh, brushed aluminum feel and uh, frankly i would like to honestly i would like to tell you that uh, the buttons all of the buttons in this car feel highly tactile and highly top notch in quality there's nothing that you know uh, makes the car feel of low quality or anything like that even these buttons on the steering wheel feel really nice and good coming further down you do have uh, your audio player you do have uh, the uh, port for inserting your cd the compartment for inserting the cd uh, you do have a nice analog clock which we see on most uh, on all mercedes cars which is traditional mercedes uh, signature language so uh, moving down uh, you do have uh, a compartment over here when you press you do have two cup holders over here which can uh, si- which can hold decently sized cups and you do have an ashtray over here for any one of you who smokes and a cigarette lighter over here 12 volt outlet now just closing this you do have this is all one of my favorite parts of this car as well so this is where you have uh, you know you have the controls for the touch screen you can adjust the volume and this touch screen over here if you can see i'll just let you guys take a good look at it this is about a 7 inch uh, t- uh, it's not a touch screen it's just a screen i'm sorry uh it's a screen it's not a touch screen and uh, it's 7 inches um really good 
in uh, viewing angles and really good viewing quality on this uh, screen uh, this these are the controls for the touch screen uh, the screen over there so you can control various uh, functions of the screen you can control the radio the audio mp3 mp4 and all that stuff navigation all of those can be controlled from here uh, lots of buttons over here which i might discuss in another video uh, now this is the touchpad over here which uh, is also which can also be used to access the uh, touch screen as you can see you know you can use this touchpad to access the screen you can also set up gesture commands on this touchpad so so that you know you can uh, have some task uh, have some shortcut set to a task like for example you can set a gesture so as for the maps to open or something like that so you can do that now moving further down over here you do have a button and uh, again leather wrapped cushions over here nice cushiony center armrest pressing this will open the center armrest which uh, quite deep and you can uh, you know store a lot of stuff like for example i can store my sunglasses inside and you have uh, the uh, ports over here for aux usb and you can it's well inside this is obvious this is not cooled this is not a cooled glove box it's just a normal glove box okay guys now going further into the interiors i'm going to be showing you a little bit more about the you know interior so starting off from here you know this is the uh, rear view mirror obviously auto uh, auto dimming rear view mirror uh, which obviously is not automatically controlled but uh, you have to control it with your hands and coming further over here you do have uh, complete led lights um, which can be illuminated by pressing this button over here um, this button sorry um so this is the complete led light so here which i'm going to turn off um you do have uh, the you do have reading lamps over here just under the um under the rear view mirror which i can show you right now it's this is how they are you can see my there's you can see the light is coming on my hand so you know uh, that's how it is and you do have a sunglasses holder over here i'm going to put my sunglasses and i'm going to show you how that works can be a little difficult sometimes anyways that's how you are supposed to put it inside and uh, you do have a control for the panoramic sunroof over here but just uh, a moment before that i just want to show you over here you do have the sun shades um, you know and um, these you have the mirror over here which is obviously illuminated with the light on top which is a nice really nice feature and i really like that uh, now just want to show you the panoramic sunroof uh, this is the button to control the panoramic sunroof you just pull it back and the covering on the roof will come back first after which if you do it again the whole uh, sunroof will uh, you know come back all the way i'm not going to i'm not going to show you the whole thing so you know it's that that's how it works and i'm just going to close it um the next thing i want to show you is uh, you know uh, over here you do have a nice brushed aluminum finish again over here where it feels nice and cold uh, anyways uh, so nice brushed aluminum finish over here and very soft touch plastics over here that gives the car a nice really nice feel you know you don't have like hard touch plastics very very soft touch plastics and all leather wrapped uh, this is the glove box uh, one thing i don't like about the glove box is i i feel like it is really hard to get stuff into there you know it's not uh, it's not really it does not have a really deep opening uh, portion but you do have a light in there and it's not cool it's just a normal glove box um and that's about it okay guys now i want to show you the uh, door panels over here now starting off from the top over here you do have the door locks and again very soft touch plastics over here a nice soft touch plastics over here and you have a nice glossy plastic finish uh, wood trim kind of finish over here uh, you have the uh, speakers over here this is not the bomester audio system that uh, you know comes with certain models this is a normal audio system that comes with the car this is the controls for the seats you know you can uh, use this to uh, make this good seat go up down and this is for the fr front bolstering um for the thighs you can make the thigh uh, bolstering go up or, or down you know and uh, again you can move this further or backwards to change the uh, seat's position this is for the reclination of the seat and uh, this one is just a dummy it does not control the the headrest the headrest are manually controlled obviously the door uh, door hinge and you do have the lock and unlock buttons over here uh, to unlock and lock the car now over here you do have uh, you do have controls for the uh, side uh, for the door mirrors windows 
um, you have controls for controls for four windows you can uh, lock the rear windows or unlock the rear windows you have controls for the side view mirrors you can uh, press this button over here to you know um, uh, unfold and fold the uh, side view mirrors and over here at the bottom you do have a button to open or close the boot the trunk and you have a bottle holder over here and a bunch of storage spaces over here you do have a light over here which uh, obviously lights at the, in the dark and uh, coming further on the door i just want to show you one more thing really cool feature about this car is just like in the e250 you do have ambient lighting over here all around the door uh, uh, the color of which you can change using the multifunction display in the car and uh, that's about it on the door Okay guys, coming to the rear uh, seat, legroom and headroom. So, first of all, I'm going to focus on the door. So, you have this nice wood trim, uh, glossy wood trim finish over here on the doors. Again, soft touch plastics over here, very nice to feel and look great as well. Uh, you do have the brushed aluminium uh, door handles as well and the controls for the uh, rear uh, window, which are again in brushed aluminium. Uh, you can use it to put the window up or down um, and nice holding space over here. You have a bottle uh, bottle holder over here, space for bottle and some storage space over here which is nice and deep and can accommodate your newspapers or books or any other thing. Now coming to the top, again, you do have a nice uh, curtain over here to keep the sun away and that's how you use it and you just pull it up and you just clip it to the window and it just works. Okay guys, now coming to the rear uh, seat, headroom and legroom and the comfort of the rear seats. Now these seats are very very comfortable. Uh, the cushion is also really nice and soft. It's not like the uh, other cars that you find uh, that the seats are really hard. These are very nice and soft seats. Again, full Alcantara leather all around the back seats. And uh, you know, over here you have the AC controls, uh, the rear passengers. Uh, this here is a knob to control the airspeed. You can control it using uh, this knob. Um, and over here you do have uh, a 12 volt outlet and you have a 220 volt um, power outlet as well that can be used to connect your uh, devices directly like uh, you know your washing machine maybe if you want to have the washing machine inside the car anyways that was just a joke uh, you do have a uh, tray over here to obviously store some uh, stuff like you know magazines books and other trash Again, uh, you know, you have the panoramic sunroof over here that I showed you already. You do have the O-blank blank handles over here. Four O-blank handles all around the car and you do have reading lamps over here that can be controlled by a button over here, which you obviously can't see due to the camera angle. And uh, coming to the center armrest over here, this is the center armrest, again, all leather wrapped. Pressing this button over here will release the cup holders that uh, come out like this and you can you know use it uh, to store your cups and uh, lifting it up reveals some storage space that can be used to obviously store some uh, stuff like maybe your small uh, maybe your telephone or anything else that is small enough to fit in there and that's about it the headroom is pretty nice uh, for a person of my height but I do think that uh, that a person who's taller than me will find it a little bit difficult to uh, for with the headroom because it is kind of short at, at the back over here but in terms of legroom there's ample amount of legroom over here and uh, it's really really comfortable for a person of my size you do have ambient lighting at the bottom over here near my feet you do have ambient lighting that turns on and uh, you do have ambient lighting in the doors as well which i showed you already like the front doors Okay guys, now coming to the verdict, after taking a complete look at this car, I have really really fallen in love with this beautiful beast. Um, I know it's the C-Class, but you know, it's got everything that you may need in a sub-luxury uh, sub, uh, sub, sub um, car. Uh, so this is a really really beautiful car in my, in my opinion. I really love everything from the design point of view to the interiors to the features to the engine everything feels really really top notch there's not much that i can complain about this car everything seems perfect mercedes seem to have nailed nailed this car you know they have really really done the job right on this car and made a really fantastic car uh, everything is good you know um, like the seats and the bolstering the luxury the air conditioning the infotainment system 
and in the ambient lighting is really really elegant makes the car feel more luxurious and uh, the only thing few things that i would like to uh, i might complain about are you know the uh, the rear seat headroom seems a little bit less and you know uh, there is a huge transmission tunnel in the rear seat so in case you want to fit three passengers it can be a little bit uncomfortable for the middle passenger due to the huge transmission tunnel at the back and uh, there's nothing uh, uh, and apart from that there's nothing much i can complain this is a really really beautiful car if i had the money i would definitely definitely go for this car so that's about it guys for my verdict if you have any comments or questions do leave them in the comment section below and uh, you know do hit the like button if you like this video and you know do subscribe to my channel it'll help me make more videos like these and give you more fantastic videos like these so before ending this video i again like to thank engines hyderabad engines auto arena hyderabad for letting me review this car for letting me make a video on this car and you know in case if you're ever interested to buy uh, used premium cars in uh, hyderabad you can come here and check it out even not only in hyderabad anywhere around india if you want really really good quality really good maintained um, and trustworthy cars to buy you can come here at engines hyderabad check out their large variety of pre-owned cars that are available over here they have a lot of cars from audi uh, to bmws to range rovers and a lot of different brands as they keep on coming so you can come here and check it out in case you're interested you can pick this car up this is available right now um, and you know you can come here and check it out again guys thanks for watching this video see you next time on technology peace